Hello everyone, in this video, I will show how you can install custom ROM which is Android TV based on Android 9.0 on this device which is TXT Mini, this is from Tanix and this is quite popular device in the market right now. As you can see, uh, there are some other devices on this chipset platform which is Amlogic S905W and this is also a popular chipset and installing custom ROM on this chipset is a bridge so no matter whether you are using this particular device or any other device based on Amlogic S905W chipset you can install this custom ROM so I'll show you the complete procedure on how you can do it to complete the process first of all you will need the device itself so here I'm keeping the device then you will need a computer uh, which is here and then you will need a USB type A to type A cable so I have bought this cable uh, from the online marketplace and this kind of cables are rare nowadays but you will find it I will give the link in the description below so that you can buy this and if you use my link to buy this cable and other components then I'll get some commission and it will help me to continue my YouTube journey. First of all completely unplug the device from any kind of power source just like this. Then you will have to take the cable you have to insert the cable into the computer just like this. Now you will need to access the recovery button into the device. So in this device the recovery button is located here as you can see at the bottom of the device here is the small pinhole. So the recovery button is located inside that pinhole. So you will have to access this with a safety pin or something like that. On other devices running and logic S905W the procedure is same but the recovery button that is located elsewhere maybe inside the 3.5 millimeter port or something like that so keep that in mind also search on the internet to know where your recovery button is located so right now we are on our computer screen as you can see the website this is Iden ROM website and this website has various ROMs for various chipsets and this is for the Amlogic S905W which is on the TXT Mini and this custom ROM is based on Android 9.0 and as you can see it is supported on various devices. The thing I like about this ROM is that it is based on Xiaomi's Mi Box S and it doesn't have any kind of bloatware in pre-installed so you have to install everything from the scratch and this is quite good because the storage of this device is not we know that the storage is very limited also this ROM has pre-installed Bluetooth Wi-Fi drivers that's why you can connect this device to the Wi-Fi without any kind of hassle because I have tried many other ROMs from the internet those were working just fine but the Bluetooth device and Wi-Fi device was not working that's why I think right now this is the best ROM out there and the developers are trying to improve it uh, in the future and maybe then you can update this so I have already downloaded the optimum ROM file and uh, Amlogic USB binding tool here these two things you will require to install the custom ROM first of all the Amlogic USB binding tool this is version 2.1.7 I have seen that the latest version like 3. Point, uh, something those actually doesn't work with this device that's why I have tried this particular version and it was working that's why you can use this thing but you can also try other versions but you have to go through some kind of trial and error process and this is the ROM file so we'll just extract this in here so first of all I'm extracting the 
and logic usb burning tool and then the rom file now we will install the rom file into the device that's why we have to first install the analogic usb binding tool we have to open the folder and then we have to go to the analogic usb binding tool exe we have to double click it to open and then we have to click next until it's installed Okay, so now it's asking for installing the driver, USB driver. So it's already installed. Now what we will do, we will open this with administrator privileges. It will ask for the administrator privileges. As you can see, we have already opened this software. Now we have to connect the device. So that's why we have to use a safety pin or a SIM injector tool. I told you earlier that the recovery button is located here. So we will insert the safety pin in this pinhole. And then while pressing, we will insert the USB port into that, into here. Uh, you have to insert it in the USB port which is located just beside the micro SD slot, not the other one because that might not work. So you have to insert it. As you can see here on our device, it's showing that connect success. That means it's working just fine. So it's disconnected, I don't know why. So we have to reconnect it again. So I'm unplugging and plugging the USB again by following the same procedure. So I'm pressing and holding. And then I have inserted the Okay. Now it's connected. So now we will go to the file step and import the image in here. So we'll click on import image. We'll go to desktop and as you can see this is our image file, extracted image file. So we'll double click and locate this. So it will check the image and after checking if we maximize the window we'll see that here it has loaded the ROM file. After that, we'll click on start. As you can see, it's erasing the bootloader and it will format the device and install the ROM in the device. So it might take some kind of three or four minutes. So we will wait. And after waiting, we'll see that the ROM is installed on the device. So I'm pausing the video here and we can continue after installed. Now, as you can see, it has successfully burned the image on the device. So it took around four minutes, 27 seconds. And as you can see, it has the status report, which is burning successfully. And that means it, it has burned successfully. Now we'll click on stop and then we'll close that application and after that we'll disconnect the device from the USB. Now we will plug this device to the monitor and then we'll plug it in the power source and as you can see it's booting and it's showing Android TV. Also the clock is working. So the other ROMs that I have tested the clock was not working on those ROMs. This is for the TXT Mini, but for this ROM, the clock is working and it's working just fine. And you'll see the time is updated when it will be connected to the internet. So we'll wait for that. And now we are waiting for it to boot. 
So for the first boot, it might take some time, so don't panic. As you can see, it is showing the welcome screen and it is asking for the language to select. Now we'll try to select the language. So the default remote of the TXT Mini is working with this ROM. But for other ROMs, it doesn't work. So I think for every sense, this is the best ROM. So we'll select English. And after that, we'll connect to the internet. So this is my Wi-Fi. So we'll check if the Wi-Fi is working. So I'm giving my password. So let's connect. Password is not working. I'm gonna connect this one. So it will just work with the 2.4 GHz network, not with the 5 GHz network. This is the limitation of the device. So I'm waiting for it to connect. So as you can see, it is connected successfully. It took some time. I'm giving it a name. You can set up a custom name. I'm giving it just Android TV. So it's saying unable to access the internet. Maybe my internet is not working right now. But as you can see, the Wi-Fi is working and it will just work. And if we go to the app drawer, we go to the file manager. If I show you the remote, all the buttons of the remote are not working. So it just works with the navigation button and then the OK button, but not all the buttons. But the generic Android TV remote, that will work in this TV. But right now I don't have a generic Android TV Bluetooth remote. So I will use this device, which is this wireless mini keyboard. I love this device very much. and. It just works fine and it works with a 2.4 gigas dongle so now I'll plug this dongle into the device and we'll use with this so as you can see if I go back it's working just fine so if we go to settings We can see the wireless network here. We can go to device preference and then about. As you can see, it is running on Android version 9. So it is Android Pi. If you go to storage, you will find 3.3 GB free storage. So this is not for installing many apps or videos or something like that but you can use this device for streaming and for streaming it is a great device and it's working smoothly it's smoother than the stock rom of 10x tx3 mini i think you will have a great experience with this rom also after connecting to the internet the time is already synced up if we go to the time settings so after going to device preference and then if we go to date in time and if you set the time zone to my time zone which is GMT plus 6 okay so as you can see it's already synced up the time so this is always 24 hour clock in here in the device but on the software side you can customize it to 24 hours or 12 hour clock so as the default remote is not working I think you can buy a device like this or a gamepad or something like that I think this device is good because you can type in to search on the YouTube or type in the password or something like that I will provide the link in the description below so that you can buy this from Amazon and 
as you can see almost all the things are working on this rom just fine maybe there are some things broken like the remote is not working but i think that's okay with this chip device and in future if the developer comes with any kind of new updates i will make a video about that and until then goodbye